Hello, Internet. This is the route. I had to pretty much pack up my uh, new machine because it wouldn't post. And I've ruled out everything. USB does not work. Everything else lights up. Hard drive obviously powered on. Now, the only problem is the DRAM light was turning on. And I ruled that out by taking my... What do you want to do, little sparkles? I ruled it out by taking each individual RAM stick out and then putting them back in. I tried it without any RAM. DRAM light still lit up. One stick, two, three, four, five, then six. Go oh, right at the four sticks. Same shit. It would not post. And this was after I transferred everything to it. Obviously, there's no room for the optical drive, so that thing can go in. There's four SATA ports on the darn thing, so I was trying to figure out why isn't it posting? Why? So, yeah, so I had to rule it out. Took the graphics card out, because initially the Vega light was on, then it turned off. Then when I reinstalled the graphics card, GPU, you know, it's the Vega light, Vega VGA light did not light up. Then it was good. But still nothing was going on. No posts, no nothing. The drive light then lit up again. Then I took it out. The drive light was still lit. Did the RAM swap again? Still lit. So, yeah. Pretty much screwed in that regard. So I boxed it and now it's waiting to go back to Canada computer so they can figure out why it's posting, why it's doing that. Why it isn't posting. Because that's a problem. I expected it to be working as soon as I transferred everything to it and hit the power button after obviously turning on the power supply. There's a rocker switch. Now the other thing is I had to put it all back into my rig again. And that took a bit of a while. The second drive, which is just simply a test bed for the GPU installation, you know, for the modules when they get updated. Just in case it fucks up, at least I don't gotta do a clean install again in my main system. So, that's already been uh, rolled out. Everything's back in the ring except the second drive, the test bed. Yeah, frustrating. I know. So, you know what I should have done? I should have tested it, powered it on with no drives in it, just to see if it would post first. Yeah, I know you want to get down. I know you want to get down. Yeah. Okay, you get down. Backwards. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I should have tested it long before I moved everything in just to see is it, if it was going to work, if it was going to post, but it didn't fucking work. I spent all that time packing this thing in the cupboard and pulling the other out to be promptly recycled, but yeah, I had to take that uh, process and put it backwards and reinstall this rig again. Yeah, this sucks. I was expecting a beautiful X670E-F motherboard and everything included with it to be working right out of the box, but it did not. So that's a problem and I paid good money for it too. So now I got to bring it back to the shop tomorrow morning and figure out what the fuck is going on. If they can figure it out and get it back up and running, great. Because then the moment I strap it on and bring it back home and unbox and power it on, if it posts, good. Good. I can transfer everything back over again. But if it does not post, we've got a problem and I'll have to get a refund on everything. Or swap the motherboard out, which could easily be the problem. Yeah, that's what I wasn't hoping for. But anyways, we'll have to leave it until then. So, thanks for watching. This was immensely frustrating to fucking hell. But I had to do something. Anyways, peace out. Feel free to subscribe. And... Hopefully by tomorrow this shit will be fixed.